Hi everyone. We're on day two of our biography book about our movers and shakers. So yesterday we wrote the page about um, explaining what our mover and shaker noticed as a problem in their community or in their world. Okay, so we talked about what they noticed. And I wrote about William Kumquaba that William noticed his village didn't have enough food and the lights in his home were smoky. Okay, so that's what I said was William's uh, problem that he noticed. And we also talked about Autumn Peltier and we talked about um, Marley Diaz. Diaz. Uh, today, we're going to tell the next part of the story. The next part of the story is what did your mover and shaker do to try and help solve that problem? What did they do? That's what this says. What <clears throat> did they do? <coughs> Excuse me. What did your mover and shaker do to try and help solve the problem? So let's think about Autumn. So Autumn noticed that there was polluted water and people didn't, that not everyone had clean water. Right? What did she do? Yeah, she went and spoke to really important people to urge them to protect the water. She became a water warrior. William noticed there wasn't enough food and the lights in his home were smoky. What did he do? Right, he built a windmill and he used that windmill to pump water for crops and to uh, bring electricity to his home so they could have light bulbs, right? Okay, and what did Marley Diaz do? Remember she noticed that the books didn't have characters that were like her. Yeah, that she could. And so, yeah, she started the 1,000 Black Girl books. And um, she collected books that had black girls as the main characters. And she donated them to people that, and she um, made a big resource list. So if anyone is thinking, I want a book like this, I can look at that list and find it. So those are things that these movers and shakers did. What did your mover and shaker do? Okay, so this one might be one where you might want to write more than one sentence. You might want to write two sentences. Like, I'm thinking about what to write about William. What did he do? I'm going to say, first, I'm going to start off with William built a windmill. And I'm just writing quickly here, but I want you to really make sure you sound out your words, okay? Start with your person's name. William built a windmill. After, you can use a pronoun, which is like he, she, or they, to represent your person. William built a windmill. Um, let's see, what am I going to write next? Oh, I want to tell what the windmill did. It pumped water to grow crops. How about that? It pumped water. I'll just say it pumped water for crops. and provided electricity for lights. So this tall, this windmill solved the problem that that William noticed. Right? William noticed that there were those problems. This windmill pumped water so they could grow more crops and it provided electricity for lights. So their lights were not smoky kerosene lights anymore. Okay, so you, I had to use two different sentences here. You might have to use more than one sentence too for this page. Okay, so start with your person's name, whoever your person is, and then tell what they did. What was their important work? Okay. Okay, that's your work for today. Telling what your person did. Okay, go ahead and work on that page. Again, don't worry about the picture. We'll come back to that. Okay, happy writing.